All right, everyone, so here it is, just like I promised. Um, I'm going to teach you guys how to make some symbiote stuff. I know this guy's got a hell of a lot of likes on the um, ACBA group uh, page and some comments, too. Um, so here he is, fully, uh, fully viewed, I guess, other than a picture. And then I have this other little symbiote. Uh, piece here so we're probably gonna start small so we're gonna start with this and uh, maybe we'll work our way up to something more of a bigger scale like this um, once I cover most of the basics and it's it's pretty simple it's just all about technique and timing and uh, all that so in case anyone was wondering I will put this uh, six inch Spider-Man figure next to this guy. As you can see, some pretty pretty good scale with it. This guy's pretty big, and uh, Spider-Man can actually be held up by his his uh, hand here, which is fully posable, fully posable arms, uh, fully posable neck and jaw. Like you can open and close it any way you want. Very sharp, pointy teeth, and uh, yeah. So here's this guy. And I'll move him out of the way and start off by telling you guys what you'll need to make something, um, something like this. I guess we'll start with, you know, something small just to uh, give you the basic rundown. Okay, so what really makes up a symbiote like that are wire ties or twist ties that usually come with most action figures. Uh, they come in all different colors and sizes and and um, shapes and t stuff too because there's other ones that are flat kind of like there's this one that's pretty flat as you can see you can use any of these for a lot of projects that you can use them for spider-man webbing and all kinds of stuff but we're not going to spend all of our time talking about twist ties so here's your main one of your main ingredients so save them um, and then next is your glue sticks uh, I ordered these black glue sticks from a website called like glue stick com or something or dot org uh, you can also find them off eBay, um, eBay too they're sold by the same people as that website so uh, it's a good um, product to have because painting regular um, glue sticks can be a pain but you can use these um, in this video I'll be using the black glue sticks just for sake of uh, saving myself some time painting this and all uh, when it comes to painting though you can use almost any paint you can use anything from like you know apple, apple barrel to uh, citadel it doesn't really matter it's just it, it'll take a couple of coats to do so um, there are your two main ingredients right there of course, you'll need a glue gun. I have my mini glue gun here. It's already heated up and ready to go. It looks like hell because of all the stuff I've done with it. And um, you want to have a cold bowl of water. You can throw some ice in there. You can, um, I don't know, like make it use you know regular cold water. I don't recommend using like bottled bottled water or anything. You, you can use the tap. It doesn't matter. Um, you can use this, and I I suggest that you use a throwaway plastic bowl or something that you can't get ruined. And of course, just like that spot that's there, you need paper towels for cleanup. I recommend them just for. Um, just for in case so what I usually do when it comes to um, the water it's really meant to cool the glue down faster than it would air dry so the reason I use it is to take control of the shape like for instance on this little piece that I started I just threw the hot glue on really quick and then dipped it into the bowl and that gives it its uh, thicker more detailed appearance because if I were to actually let this um, 
go without cooling it off, it would end up down a little bit further and probably more stretched out. And if that's what you want, you know, it's all to you. It's just the look that, you know, you would go for. Um, another thing you can use if you don't want to use either the clear or uh, black hot glue or whatever color is this stuff called Plasti Dip. Um, I've heard other ones called Grip Dip. There's a couple of different um, brands. Um, what it is is basically a dip for your tools so that you can coat your tools that have like a metal handle with a rubber handle. And it, it comes out when you dip a couple times it looks like this. I've done two coats on this. What you basically do is just put it in and uh, pull it out and then hang this up somewhere to dry. I, what I did was I hung it up by magnets just so that I can have better control. So I I don't strongly recommend this because this is something that takes a lot longer and you don't have control of how it dries. So I don't recommend necessarily using it. And it's also um, more of like a flat look rather than a uh, a shiny you know gloss like a like a symbiote would look like because it's like a you know a liquidy creature <clears throat> and then lastly what you use for accessories is some toothpicks um, these are these are more expensive toothpicks I don't know nobody really uses them in my house so it's okay for me to use them but I recommend you get the two-sided ones instead of one like with a stupid design on the other side um, these will be used for teeth and nails and stuff like that. Or you could always use wooden skewers or whatever you want to call these because they have points here too. So they're always good. And um, of course to cut these you'll need some scissors which I didn't grab because I'm not going to worry about that right now. Okay. Now other uh, one last thing I wanted to mention. The way I usually do this is I'll put the glue on the twist tie and I'll actually hold it in front of the air conditioner. I'm not going to use the air conditioner today just because it'll be too loud on camera and I don't want to re-record my voice over top of this. So um, I'm just going to use the water for now but you can use the uh, the actual, oh I'm kicking the camera sorry, you can use the actual uh, air conditioner to cool off your twist ties or your glue I mean so anyway we're gonna um, before we get started there's actually one last thing that is an option this here is a piece of granite um, it's used in this case to um, build up like the bottom of the symbiote where it's actually flat and it's along the floor and the reason why I use this is because glue tends to stick to almost anything. It even sticks a little bit to this sometimes. So what I do is I get something smooth such as granite or you can use, you can probably use a desktop but I don't recommend it. If you have like an extra one or like a plastic top or, or metal even, something that's just slick and the glue won't stick to, I recommend you use that. And then for extra uh, precaution, you take some um, olive oil or Pam or any type of like like greasy kind of like oily uh, substance and you spread it along the work area before you um, put the glue on it and that will help the glue from not sticking to the actual thing that you're using so that's just something that's an option if you want to make something where it has like a, a flat bottom like I used it for this this has a flat bottom on it. And that's just, like I said, just an option. So we're going to get started here. And I'm going to start off by just making a simple um, symbiote structure. And what we're going to use here is a couple of twist ties. And we want to get a look where they just kind of look natural. So I'm going to just tie it pretty much anywhere right now. And I'm going to like kind of flail them out. And the way you get the thicker look, kind of like what's in the arm here, is you double it up. Now you can do like 
something like this or whatever and you can get like a little loop in there and that will be covered by the glue and it would make it really uh, thick there and if I can kind of emphasize that and they don't really matter what the what position that they're in because once the glue is on there you can bend it any way you want so I'm gonna take that and then I'm gonna tie another one around like kind of like the middle here no specific fashion or whatever it's just gonna look like that and then another one along the bottom for kind of like a, a base so it can actually be held up and you don't have to do this all at once if you don't want to this is just my version for now you can do you know one strand at a time or or whatever you want a smaller you know scale or whatever so here we go we got we got this for now this is technically like a skeleton this is your what you're gonna build off of okay now once you've got this what you want to do is you want to take your glue and as you can see this is kind of like wobbly and it's not staying in place so I want to put my glue right in the middle here and it doesn't matter how it's applied it's not a specific detail or anything like we're not going for anything specific here and then this is the part where you would kind of let it dry and if you want it to do you know dry naturally and you don't want to use water or a uh, uh, air conditioner then you know just let it dry but for me I I'm on camera and I'm trying to make this a little bit quicker so I'm gonna put this in the water for a few seconds just to make sure that it comes out dry and uh, now I can actually touch it and it's it's in place so you're gonna get a little bit of water everywhere and this is where like I said the paper towels come in handy um, so use that to your advantage and then down here is another spot where this is really loose so again I'm going to glue this I'm gonna hold it in place throw some glue on it and I'm actually running out of glue now so I gotta I gotta refill it you're gonna go through a lot of glue so ex always buy more if you can afford it then you know you'd rather have more than be short it's always uh, the case because when I when I run out I get frustrated so <laughs> I'm gonna try and make this stand up somehow okay so there we have our basic skeletal structure for our symbiote and uh, you're pretty much gonna just wing it from here it's all it's all in the eye of the beholder like how how you want it to look so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just start after I grab a glue stick like I said you're gonna go through a lot so you want to get plenty I, I already went through almost a whole packet just on the uh, the, the two symbiotes that I showed you and there was tw 12 in there I believe so okay I got a little bit of glue on my desk I'm not really worried about it I I do recommend that you put something down to to uh, prevent that from happening to you guys so you don't ruin whatever workspace that you're gonna be working over unless you don't care so um, another thing is is that the glue when it gets on your skin it's very very hot and it can burn you uh, for the kids that are watching this um, I do recommend that if you get glue on you immediately dip your finger or whatever part you get it on yourself into the cold water and it'll it'll help cool it off and make it dry instantly and then you can pick it off um, it's not too bad but it does burn I'll be honest so I'm gonna do this over this paper towel just because so I'm gonna start adding some some uh, glue here and when when I'm doing this you 
don't have to put on a lot you know like because you'll see it, it's going to drip off like that if it, if your glue gun's really really hot and if not then you know that's fine too but you can control it by bending it in certain angles like that like what i just did i just caught that bubble there and then you know you can give it its own little look by doing this and then if i dip it in the water it's going to stop that drip so it's going to actually give it a cool little like like if it was dripping off of itself you know like that and now it's you know somewhat dry like the inside is going to still be kind of soft from just from the heat but the outside will actually cool uh be cool so you'll be fine when you're uh touching it and you want to you want to do this in layers so if you miss the whole um uh, wire tie the first time that you apply the uh, glue to the to the wire tie that's okay because after it's done cooling or whatever you can go back and cover it again and that's what I'm doing right now and you can see how this is turning out it looks pretty neat pretty natural too that's another thing you want to keep it as natural as possible so right here I'm just gonna um, start filling this all over and uh, I'll probably fast forward the video from here just so that I don't waste all the time here and you guys gotta watch me you know do all this and then we'll get into the next step All right, so here's the part where we accent the actual structure that we built. All right, so you see we got the basic covering. That's what you want to go for first time around. And when you go to um, do the, your next part, this is where you want to kind of go back and get all the spots that you missed or create a more like dramatic effect with the actual piece where you you know you want to like connect some lines here and there or make a drip or whatever that this is the next part so you can always add glue so never never be afraid to, to you know just, like just go through it and then go back and add the glue so I can see a spot right here that I missed so what I'm gonna do is just throw some glue right over top of the old glue and then let it dry just like, you know, it's not rocket science. Same stuff that we uh, already went over in the beginning. It's still a little hot. As you can see, I didn't leave it in there long enough, but this is cool, so it'll give us a little bit of an effect. You're going to get these strings, and they're going to annoy the crap out of you, but um, that's okay. It's just part of glue. So as you can see, we got a little, like, hanging off piece and there's a piece over here and what I'm gonna do over here is around this twist that I created when I was going a little bit faster here um, I decided that I wanted to add some drips in between it so you can like kinda like connect them and you for this part you wanna be really close to your water because you wanna like add it and you wanna drop it right in so I'm gonna add it from side to side drop it right in that way it won't drip onto the floor or whatever and you can dry it real quick and you can see that it's connected right there by those two pieces or those two pieces are connected right there so that's kind of just where I want it for now that's you know pretty much it and you know you can always go back you can always go back and, and fix these. Like, I can go back and mess with this one if I want to. It's it's never 100% um, done. Like, you can continue to go back. I'm spilling water everywhere, and that's what these paper towels are for. All right. Now, this part that I'm about to show you guys is um, the part with the slick surface. Now, you don't have to do it this way. It's not recommended, or not 
uh, necessary, I guess. You can cover your base or whatever the same way as you covered the top. Just, you know, turn it upside down and add your glue that way. But for me, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to sit it on here in a certain position where it looks, you know, kind of creepy to me. It looks kind of cool. So it's going to sit like this. And I'm just going to add the glue and I'm going to put another glue stick in because I'm already going through that one. Alright, so add the glue stick and we're good to go. So when I'm doing this, I'm not really worried about getting it all over the place because it's going to look pretty cool along the base. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to zoom in a little bit so you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Maybe zoom out a tiny bit. There we go. And uh, now I'm just going to add to this. I'm just going to start gluing wherever because it's just going to it's going to fall naturally on the uh, granite here or whatever I got. I think I believe it's granite. All right, so this part, I'm actually going to let this dry. Uh, I'm not going to dip it in the water or anything because I'd have to pick it up and move it there. And it's not going to come off this base until it's necessarily dry. So for now, I'm going to move this out of the way. And uh, I will get into the part that probably you guys were mainly waiting for. And that's to see how I make the actual faces and claws to the symbiote. Now, the arm is made just like that. It, it was the uh, the strategy where I told you you twist the twist ties over and basically what this is is two twist ties completely looped, completely looped, connect it, glued, and then filled in. Just, just like that. So I'm not leaving any parts out. And the hand, it's the same way. Connect it like these are. And then I glued it and, and made the effect like that. Now we're going to get into doing nails, which is uh, toothpicks that I used. These ones aren't painted. It's, I just didn't get around to painting them. But the teeth and the eyes are. Now what I made, what I used for the head, you can use all twist ties if you want for the head. That's up to you. But if you don't necessarily want to do that or want to trust that, you can always use anything that you can cover in hot glue. So what I used for the actual head there was a, cu a cutout of this plastic where uh, Iron Man's head actually was so that I can just give it like kind of like the skull shape and then, you know, take it from there. But I'm going to warn you, using plastic, especially plastic as light as this, like thin and uh, flexible, it's going to melt. It's going to, when the hot glue touches it, it's going to, like, uh, change the shape of the plastic. So I'm going to warn you ahead of time before you go to actually uh, use that. And it can burn you, too, so be careful with that, too. So here in the foot, I can see it's kind of like a, you know, it's kind of like a bubble. So I'm going to cut the, uh, I'm gonna cut the foot out just to see if that would make a good uh, sh beginning shape for the skull that I want to make. Okay, so I got this out. And you can see that it's kind of like a a dent in a plastic. I don't know. I'm going to cut off some extra. I don't need this whole thing. I just want to get the general shape that is going to look like, kind of like a, uh, a head or whatever. And for this, you can pretty much use anything. You can use an actual venom head if you want and, and just glue the venom head on or whatever, but I don't want to waste um, my Venom figure. So I'm going to use this other twist tie that I already started 
not too long ago. Oh, and you can cut these too. If you don't like the length of them, you know, go for it. Cut them, do whatever. So I'm going to just melt the glue that's already on here so that I can just get a starting point for this skull thing to to fit. And it's going to fit right on there. So it kind of kind of looks like something just as it is. And this also helps you to to not use so much uh, hot glue when you're um, when you're like applying it to something because this will take up some of the some of the uh, area that you'll be covering. This is a small one, so okay. So I got this, and I think I'm gonna cut it just a little bit. Don't know exactly what length but I'm just kind of winging it and next we want to take some of these so I'm going to take about five because I'm not exactly sure um, what you know what amount I want and I'm going to just cut the tips off and you want to be careful because um, they tend to go flying and you can also cut yourself if you cut you know too close so I'm going to cut these And I want to make my, these teeth little because I'm doing a little, you know, head. You can see the toothpicks are actually flying as I cut them. It's kind of fun, though. Okay. Now, now that I got that, what I want to do is I want to take my structure that I got pre-laid out for um, my symbiote head. And I'm going to, this is where I'm going to be more careful. I'm just going to take a little bit of glue, just, just enough to cover the bottom of the, the tooth. And then you're going to try and hurry up and stick it to the, uh, the head that you'll be using or the, or whatever you want to call it. And then you can see it's gonna stick like that and at this point if you want you know go ahead dip it in the water it doesn't matter um, you know it can dry on its own but this is gonna end up getting kind of wet from all that so from here on out you're what you're just basically gonna do is apply the teeth or the spikes in that fashion to wherever you want I don't even know where this came from how did I get this oh that's the lid duh so I'm just going to apply these teeth really quick and we'll get back to business. Alright, so we got our little uh, top part of the skull here. And you can see it's pretty, pretty neat looking. Just a couple of teeth. I, I did one oddball tooth just because if you've ever seen the symbiote it always has like a big imperfection with its teeth and um, it like how it's uh, it looks like just something that's melting so I wanted to give it that look where it's not perfect so um, that's pretty much it right there and now if you want to make a bottom jaw which I probably will make one just because uh, what you would do is just take another wire tie and apply it to your already built structure kind of like underneath the uh, the skull and what I'm doing is I'm just gonna attach it like any old way it's not anything you know special it's just all right so now we got a little bit of a uh, bottom jaw there I'm trying to make this so that it, they line up a little bit without knocking the teeth off all right so kind of uh, lining up there not anything perfect or whatever and you can add some teeth to it or whatever 
So I'm going to actually just grab a, a few more toothpicks, cut the tops off of them, and then apply them here again. So there you have the top and bottom jaw with teeth. And now you can you can start doing this if you want to. Uh, it's where you just start applying the glue to the whole um, entire piece, I guess you could say. And uh, you fill in this gap the same way as I said, you fill in the arm and, and you fill in that thing over there. So, symbiotes are not perfect, so you don't have to make them a certain way. This is just my style, and it's not even a style, it's kind of just whatever happens, happens here. So I filled in the uh, bottom jaw from underneath because filling it in over the teeth is too hard to actually do. So that's why I did my, uh, my form that way. And I'm just going to go over and try and get as much of this as possible without making too much of a mess. Because I might actually have to dip this in the water yeah I do um, sometimes when you're doing this it does um, tend to make the teeth fall off because they're getting reheated and when they reheat they'll move so if that's the case you can always you know put them back it's not you know it's not hard or anything re-glue them on <laughs> alright so you can see, I, I think I'm going to leave the jaw open on the bottom because it just looks neater to me. It's kind of a cool little thing. And I'm going to put a drip. Oh, I kind of missed my drip there. I'm going to try it again. Put a little more on there. Get it to, you know, come down a little bit. Just like if the symbiote is kind of like dripping off of the chin of itself. <laughs> looks more menacing that way more like uh, more natural I guess so I think that's pretty cool my opinion for a symbiote so far um, now here comes the part where you're gonna actually do the skull uh, if you're following along with exactly what I'm doing or using the same material um, I'm gonna do the outline of the skull first and use very, 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 very little as you're doing this. I'm going to try and do the... See, it's actually starting to curl the plastic. You can see the teeth are kind of coming up. And that's what I was, you know, I was talking about. you got to be very, very, very careful when doing this. So I'm not really worried about that. That's something I can fix with, you know, no problem. Um, but the plastic, like I said, is going to shrink. If you don't want to do it this way where you can actually risk the uh, the plastic from coming out, um, you can actually uh, paint this if you want. For me, I'm not going to paint it just because uh, I don't have... The time for this tutorial itself so I'm just gonna take some glue and I'm gonna I'm gonna apply it in areas where I'm like outlining where the eyes will be so now you you see where the actual plastic is it's that's gonna be the eyes I know that the plastic is shrinking it's kind of distorting it but that's the cool thing about it that's what makes it so unique and like you know your own kind of uh, symbiote so that I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that I like the way this looks the only thing I think I'm gonna fix are the teeth alright so that's pretty much my um, symbiotes little head thing that he's got and oops got my, myself uh, 
with the oil. At this point, I'm going to move this aside just to get it out of the way. Don't really need it right this second. And I'm going to come back to the base here. Now, if you're happy with the base, go ahead and take it off. For me, I need to add some more to this. And this also adds texture. I need some more of this. Grab another one. All right, so this adds the texture to this now at this point. You want to hide the wire ties as much as you can. I don't know if they're anywhere else along here. And you can, you know, you can make your symbiote any way you want. If you want to give it, you know, little, like, trails or whatever, go for it. Like I did with the other one. You just need to, you know, put it on here and flatten it out. Okay, so... I'm going to actually add the head here. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually glue it to this piece right here. So I'm going to take my hot glue gun and I'm going to soften up my center where these all combine by just putting alright so I kinda got cut off there because of my camera but anyway like I said you're gonna start softening this up and preparing it for your other piece which is this and just try and stick that to it and then you wanna glue it in place now unless you are using the air conditioner at this point you wanna just hold this as steady as you can until it starts to dry. Um, glue doesn't take that long to dry, so it's not gonna kill you. You can blow on it too, I don't know if that actually helps, but oh well, doesn't hurt to try, right? Uh, it's not holding it yet. Kind of. It's not fully dry yet, though. Alright, I think that's pretty good. Like, that's where I want that. And then here, we're just going to fill in um, the neck of where the symbiote has attached to the... Or the head of the symbiote attached to the body. So I'm just going to add some glue... It's gonna fall naturally. It drips down, it drips down, that's cool. Okay, so here we go. Pretty much got everything covered. And everything's attached. And all of the above. Now, this is an option. You can do this if you want. I'm not gonna do it on camera. But you can add more of the spikes if you want throughout them and give them that kind of like like violent look when they get upset um, and kind of create you know a little bit of a different style of uh, symbiote if you want that's all up to you um, but for me I'm not going to do that right now just for sake of uh, time and when this is completely done drying I'm going to take it off and overlook and just show you guys the finished uh, finished project so just hang on a little bit more and we should be good I'll start actually taking this off now and uh, a good way to get the uh, actual thing off the base is you can use like a sharp thing like scissors or something or you know it doesn't really matter you just kinda get underneath it this one's actually kinda easy because I put enough oil down to take them off of the base. This this side's a little stuck, but we can actually pull it like this and it'll come right up. Just takes a little bit of 
elbow grease, nothing, nothing crazy, no surgery or anything. And uh, as you can see, I got all these little strings and everything hanging from them. If you want to keep that for the look that you want to go for, you know, it's all up to you. Uh, for me, I don't like the strings. They kind of just get in my way. So I'm going to break them off. I'm not going to break them off completely so I can get, like, you know, some stuff like like this little thing here. I'm going to back this camera out a little bit. Yeah, you get something like, like this little hanging piece here and this piece over here. So I'm going to just clean it up pretty much to where it just looks kind of natural. Alright, so there we have it. He's completely done. And uh, I got all my arms. They're, they're all flexible, all the little arms on here. So you can have them however you want. You know, do like pose it however you want. It's all flexible. Now, there's still some spots I, I can see that I have to go back over and, you know, fill in or whatever. But other than that, like, it's pretty good. Like, good, came out pretty good. Um, this is kind of like a design I just came up with in my head while I was working. So, um, last thing you could do, if you want to, go back, paint the teeth, paint where you, uh, where you got the eyes, a little bit of white, and you're, uh, you're pretty much good to go. I want to thank you guys for, uh, requesting a tutorial on my, um, my symbiote. And now he has a buddy that he can hang out with and it can go and cause all kinds of trouble in the, with, with Spider-Man or whatnot. So thank you guys for watching and um, yeah, I'll see you later.